Holy cow, sensationalism, which is a tough word to say, sells. If you listen to certain realtors, you listen to certain news broadcasts, read certain articles, of course the housing market is in a bubble and it's about to collapse. Well, not so fast, hold on a little bit. We're gonna to talk to you a little bit about why that might not be the case, so stick around. In this video, we're gonna dig into the national market and then we're gonna show you and tell you a little bit about the numbers in the Charlotte market. Hi there, I'm Dave DeSilva, owner and broker with LongTab Realty, powered by, I should, I'm supposed to say brokered by, EXP Realty here in Charlotte. I'm a 22 year veteran of the real estate market and all that time's been spent here in Charlotte. The data used in this video you're gonna see are from KCM, which is Keeping Current Matters, a lot of experts in that uh, department, um, National Association of Realtors, and our own Canopy MLS, which is the Charlotte Regional Multiple Listing Service, as well as some other economic experts. Look, it's, it's not pretty out there, especially if you're a buyer, and it could get uglier. However, I went through the market crash of 2007, 8, and 9, and it could have been 7, 8, 9, 10, and this one doesn't seem to be nearly as bad if you take it all into uh, uh, consideration. In this video, I'm going to take my cue from market experts, and those guys with the, the big giant brains and talk about economics and forecasting, they've done a better job than I have, so I'm going to leave it up to them. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about their numbers and what they're thinking of for the future. We're going to see where they say the market's going, and then we're going to talk about the Charlotte market as well. Let's first talk about that dreaded bubble. What is the bubble anyway? A housing bubble in our situation is created by uh, speculative buying as one condition, demand stagnating, um, supply increasing, and this causes a sharp drop in pricing, and then that's where the bubble comes in. As you can see by this chart, market expert, experts I'm sorry, overwhelmingly contend that we're not in a market bubble. We do have a shortage of inventory. Um, we've got uh, a lot of demand. We've got pent up demand, but we've also got something on our side. A lot of the buyers now and the buyers in the past couple of years are much more qualified than they were back in 2007, eight and nine, which is gonna relieve us from the overflow of uh, foreclosures and um, short sales. We're gonna talk first about inventory, but prior to that, I just wanna let you know, Charlotte is a lagging market. And what that means is we follow the lead of some of the other markets, and in this case, it's pretty good. Those markets that might be um, coastal, beachfront, second homes, vacation markets, um, Las Vegas, which is in, on the coast, but um, San Diego, Los Angeles, Miami, um, Las Vegas, and Phoenix, those are leading markets, and we typically follow a few months behind them or even weeks behind them in how our market, our housing market reacts. Now, again, having said that, our, our market indicators are going to mirror pretty much the national indicators, and we'll be talking about those in a second. Right now, we're seeing four key trends in the market that should indicate a little bit of a shift here, and it's going to make the buyers happy. It's also going to keep the sellers happy. Trend number one is the average number of offers we're seeing per home nationally in the market. Um, right now, we're seeing about 4.2 offers per home. And, and that would be fantastic even in a normal market. Um, last month, it was 5.5. I remember personally, I was working with a buyer and we had a seller, a listing agent, who said there were 48 offers on a home. Strategically, we put together a plan that balanced our pricing, um, the due diligence fees, the closing uh, times, the, the other terms and conditions. We used ribbon for our financing, and then we ended up closing with a VA loan provided to us by uh, Movement Mortgage. Thanks, Liz. Uh, so we actually ended up getting that, that home for my clients among 48 or 47 other offers. So you can win some of these homes if you're a buyer. The second trend we're starting to see is the percentage over asking price of the offers coming into homes. Typically, it was about 61% of offers were above asking price, and now that's moved down to about 55%. So that's a little bit of softening of the market, and that's a plus. Here in the Charlotte market, what we saw in May, and these are May's numbers, we saw the average home getting 102.9% of their list price, and that's a little bit down from 104.1%. What that means is if your home was listed, for example, at $100,000, you were receiving offers of $102,900. The third trend we're seeing is that the pace of sales is slowing down a little bit. I didn't say the prices are coming down, but the pace of sales is slowing down a little bit, and we're gonna show you some slides a little bit later on about that. And as a matter of fact, here in Charlotte, we've had five consecutive months where sales were down, the pace of sales. 
And the fourth trend is that we've seen a little bit of an uptick in inventory nationally here in Charlotte. We went from about 15 days of inventory on the market in February and March to April. It had about 21 days. And now in May, of course, it's June, but in our May numbers, we showed and uh, the inventory is about 24 days, a little bit of an uptick. And what does this uptick mean? Well, for the buyer, it means more options. Take a look at this quote from First American Economist. He's the chief economist, Mark Fleming. There's been a pickup in the inventory we've seen recently, but it's not from a big increase in new listings, but rather a slowdown in the pace of sales. Remember our, chin, our, I'm sorry, remember our uh, trend chart, chart from a little bit earlier? And here's a national chart of the new monthly listings. Charlotte charts are going to look very similar. We added 700 homes in April to our listing inventory, and we added 620 as of these numbers coming out in May. So as I said, when you see this slight uptick in inventory and a little bit of a slowdown in the sales, that's going to be a plus for the buyer. There's going to be more homes out there to choose from. Uh, there are a lot of factors that lead to this, um, to these trends, which include the current uh, inflationary direction of our economy, a uh, rapid increase in the rates from 3 to 6% in just the past several months, and of course, uh, the global conflict going on now in Ukraine. What Lawrence Yoon, who is the NAR, the National Association of Realtors Economist, he's the chief economist, what he sees for numbers throughout 2022 is more of a trend towards the numbers that we saw in 2017, 18, and 19, getting back to a normal pace of sales in the country. Obviously, 2020 and 2021 were just boons for the housing market. Um, we're not probably going to see that in 2022. All these indicators are, are telling us there's a little bit of a shift going on in the market. Um, we're not near the, the, um, the balanced market we were in 2012 nationally, and we were at that balanced market probably in May, June, July of 2014 here in the Charlotte market. Uh, but we're, we're slowly inching our way back there, and eventually the, the market's got to change. What that balanced market means is there's a six-month supply of homes on the market. And six-month supply means that if no new homes came on the market, today in six months they would all be gone our market here in charlotte today we're at 0.8 months which is 24 days supply so if nothing came on the market for the next 24 days everything would be gone and that's if the pace of the sales that we currently are, are seeing continues as you can see by this realtor.com uh, projection of inventory for 2022 there are some glimpses of hope. I don't know if that's plural or singular. Glimpses of hope. There's, there's many of those out there. Take a look at these numbers. At the beginning of the year, they were projecting a 0.3% rise in inventory. And now because of everything going on, supply chain, economics, uh, interest rates, all that good stuff, they're projecting a 15% inventory increase for 2022. And again, that makes buyers happy. It should make buyers happy anyway. That doesn't mean it's going to be very easy. It's still going to be tough. A lot of competition out there. Before we get to the point of this whole video, I just want to ask you, if you like this video, you like the style, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more specifically about Charlotte coming up, make comments and then also subscribe. One thing we got to talk about uh, that I hear a lot of clients, a lot of friends and family members talk about prices going down. Probably not going to happen. Buyer demand and low supply is going to keep the prices probably appreciating at a much slower rate. We're calling it deceleration. Right now, the average, or I'm sorry, the median home in May in Charlotte sold for about $391,000. In April, it was $370,000. And we've seen just this past year alone, price appreciation at 20.8% in the Charlotte market. Economists are thinking in 2022 and the near future, it's going to hover around 8.5%. That should lead to fewer offers, still some competition, and more homes out there for, for buyers to take a look at. One thing I need to recommend, whether you're moving to Charlotte or any other market, and I, I mentioned this in my uh, previous video, is to go out, find a realtor, have them set you up on a search so you can start seeing the homes in the market, have them send you information about the marketplace, and then talk to them frequently about the real deal in the market. The next thing you do is go ahead and get pre-approved for that market by a local lender. If I can help you with either one of those two, please feel free to give me a call. My number is 704-953-9951 or text me or read on the screen here. If you want to go ahead and get a reload package, just send me an email or text or call, but send me an email to dave at longtabrealty.com. And as we introduce you to Charlotte, I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. 
please let me know again in the comments section. Thanks. Bye.